Hello, my name is Lorenzo and I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up QMetrix with FruitPix 17. As you know, with FruitPix 17, a number of things have changed, the most important of which is the fact that the base operating system is not based on CentOS any longer, as it has been for like 20 years, I believe, but it's based on Debian. So the way you set things up and install has changed a bit. What our approach here is that uh, um, nowadays uh, you can get a virtual machine very, very easily, or you can have uh, us run Keymetrics for you. So the idea is that you set up Keymetrics on a separate server. That is, uh, you can do this using uh, an RPM, or you can uh, use Docker or whatnot. So you don't install anything that is, uh, that is the, the core of Keymetrics on the actual FreePVX. And on FreePBX, you just install some services that are used to feed data to Qmetrix and make things happen. So this is very easy, and now I'm going to show you how. As we can see, <coughs> I just logged in to a brand new FreePBX. Um, it is a FreePBX 17. You can see, you can see, you can see. Debian version, you can see it's based, it's, it's a true Debian after many, many years looking at, uh, at uh, CentOS release, but okay, this is for old people like me. Um, what we do is basically to install Uniloader, we first go to the Keymetrics website, go to Downloads, okay, you go to Uniloader, get the latest version. You can see Uniloader is just uh, uh, distributed as uh, um, an archive, so it's very it, it can be used uh, on any operating system. That is uh, because we support uh, basically anything from uh, um, let's say from um, different flavors of Linux, of Linux to uh, Windows to to Mac and many other things. But anyway. So we create a folder. I created a folder called CD OPT Uniloader. So that is where I'm going to place it. I'm going to download the link that I got from uh, from uh, the other page. Okay, let's uncompress it. Okay, we go within the page within the, the, the folder we just created. Okay, and to set it up. It's really simple. It's just that you type install. As you can see, this is not a native package, but this is a major advantage because this works on Debian, but it also works on the distributions that are based on RPM or basically anything else, as long as it uses systemd. The other thing you can see that is written here is that we didn't just, uh, the, the installer didn't just change uh, or create the service to upload data, that is the main uh, job of Uniloader, but uh, it also created uh, all uh, the other services like Unitracker to track outbound calls, Audio Vault for, uh, for uh, uh, remote recordings and more. Uh, these are disabled, but are already installed, so it's very easy to make them work. It's just a matter of uh, starting these services. Of course, uh, as this is a package, it doesn't really know where to upload data, so we're going to Take, it's going to take a second and we have to tell it. It's written here to set its credentials in etc uniloader and then run a check. So we do this uh, bi etc uniloader. We have uh, the credentials here that uh, I already set for FreePix 17. Uh, that is my, 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 my server. The only things we have to change is the URL and the password. The rest should be okay. We restart the service. Okay. And then we check whether it's working. We just copy this. Check upload. Okay. You can see there was no error. It's telling you where it got the configuration and that it was able to successfully connection. Okay. So it was able to talk to the server on the other hand, on the other side. So if we just go there. If we just go here, we can see that uh, it has uploaded some data that uh, was uh, sent by this server, so it is working. 
Let's check if we are not 100% sure it's working. We can do this as well. We can open asterisk. Okay. We basically originate the call so that uh, it's uh, um, it is uh, as if uh, it's just a 30 second wait, but it's enough so we can see that uh, that uh, the queue is being called. Okay, you can see it's working. You can see if you look on the other side, you can see that uh, <coughs> it's uh, some data was uploaded. You can see enter queue the ID of this stuff here, and if you go the real time, we can see that there is a call open. So it's, it worked. As you can, uh, again, I'm going to say, as you can see again, it was very, very easy. Uh, at this point, uh, your uh, data upload is working, and uh, whatever you do on the PBX will happen, on, uh, will be sent to Qmetrix uh, for, uh, for, uh, for further analysis. That's basically all you have to do. Um, one thing, if you want uh, to run um, a local uh, Qmetrix system, and uh, but uh, you don't want it to 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 sorry, but uh, you want to upload data over HTTP. Uh, it's very easy because uh, when you have uh, um, a stock Qmetrix installed, you just click uh, on users and make sure that your user called Web Queue Loader is enabled. <coughs> if you install uh, Qmetrix uh, on an empty system the first time, it is disabled, and in any case, so you have to enable it. Just go here, set enable the yes here, and then you have to enter a password and confirm the password. That will be when you edit the configuration file on the on the PBX. This is uh, uh, this is uh, what you you have to, to change. Basically, this is the place that could be HTTPS where your Qmetrix is, and then the password that you just entered. That's all you have to do. So as you can see, this is very, very easy to end, uh, and it just took us a few minutes. Uh, all the other tutorials, because we have a lot of tutorials about uh, on how to make other how to configure and everything else, basically apply, because it is uh, the same thing as it, as, uh, it, uh, as it was. Uh, two things that uh, we have a lot of tutorials, they are on our blog, so if you want to go check where they are, you just go to Qmetrix. So go to the blog, okay, and if you click on FreePBX, we have a, a long collection of tutorials that explain a number of things, how to install Qmetrix in loader, uh, dimensioning, uh, configuration, uh, outbound tracking, and all these things as they apply to FreePBX. So thank you for uh, being with me today, uh, I, as you can see, it just took us a few minutes to get this uh, completely working. And uh, I hope that you are going to, to enjoy this new approach of uh, setting up Qmetrics and sending data to it. And uh, um, if you have any questions, just let us know. Thank you.